Well, now that the manifold's on, uh, it's just the radiator and then pretty much that car will be ready to place this old gal. Uh, you know, this of course is my daily, which it's weird to think because that thing, the state we got it in, geez, but it's finally almost done. I mean, I, I might have skipped a few steps, but it, it's still pretty close. I'm Dane, and today I'm going to be talking about my 1962 Buick Special Skylark. And no, this is not the same video that you've seen prior, because this is my other Skylark. So essentially, um, I got my daily driver, which we've done the video on, the green and white one. Uh, got that about two to two and a half years ago. Bought it in driving condition, uh, you know, really used it as my daily driver, and it's my only driving car. But I realized I wanted to do modifications to it, and I felt bad because it was so stock, and obviously I couldn't have my daily driver down for a long time. So, uh, almost a year ago now, uh, back in April of 2019, uh, some friends and I went down to LA, and back, in 24 hours time, to get this, which is also a 1962 Buick Skylark. Nothing different apart from trim level, and uh, the fact that it didn't drive. Uh, when we first got it, the drivetrain that was in it was the same 215 aluminum V8 with the four barrel, uh, same one that I had and still have in my current car, but it had the single speed Dynaflow automatic, whereas my green car had that transmission swapped out for a T5 manual. Uh, the eventual plans with this one, uh, like I said, I want to modify it and build it how I want a car to be built, rather than having to rely on prior owners. Uh, I'm putting in a Rover engine, which is actually a Buick engine, because Rover bought the aluminum V8 from Buick after 1963, and as well as eventually putting EFI on it, they also bored it out to a 3.9 liter from a 3.5, so that's roughly 240 cubic inches. Uh, with that, uh, I want to further up the displacement, because I bought a Buick 300, which is a cast iron engine they use from 64 to, I believe, about 68. And that engine in particular had the crankshaft that will actually bolt right into the aluminum one. But it changes the aluminum one from being about a 240 to being about a 298, I believe is right where it is. So that's almost a 5 liter. It's a 4.9 out of what, in the end, will weigh about 340 pounds. So for power to weight ratio, it's great, and it will still look like a stock Skylark engine, which is something that I really like in builds of, you know, older cars, even if it is resto-modded. I don't like to see a big old, you know, EFI intake manifold sticking out. Uh, with this build, I will be pairing it to a TR6060 six-speed manual out of a Dodge Challenger. Uh, I will be upgrading the axle most likely and using the two-piece drive shaft in conjunction with the rear of the transmission because the rear of the transmission was made for an independent rear suspension, which obviously I will not be using. Uh, for drivetrain, that's about all I'll be doing, but cosmetically and um, just overall making it a bit, you know, more race-like, uh, I will be putting a small spoiler on more for aesthetics than anything else. I'll be putting side pipes, which will not only make it sound better, be cooler, and in general make it what I prefer to car, but it will also help ground clearance, which it's not the biggest issue, but it would be an issue if I were to go any lower uh, in my current car. Apart from that, of course, it will get painted eventually. It won't be my daily, so I will actually want a paint job that I will have to worry about, unlike my current car. And the eventual paint scheme I'm thinking of is black, haven't decided between matte or low gloss or whatever, uh, with neon or dark green accents. Apart from that, uh, some general stuff is thicker tires because the 185s on there currently 
really, really like to spin. Um, a new posi track unit, because the one that originally came in there is pretty well worn out, it seems. And apart from that, it's pretty much still just gonna be a 62 Skylark. Uh, we'll probably need to widen the fender flares a bit, but I'll make them flush so it looks relatively stock, like it could have been a car that came off the line back then. And we'll make sure to film pretty much every step of the way. Um, its current state isn't what I bought it in. I sold the engine off and did a few other things, like tore the interior out. But we've documented that, and we will be documenting further uh, endeavors on the car uh, for you to see under the name Project Landlark or Sky Rover, depending on who titles it, because I don't like Sky Rover.